Today I want to talk about MTHFR. Have you ever heard of it? It's actually an, an acronym for the enzyme methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase. It's sort of, of a mouthful. <laughs> and it's an enzyme that's involved in biochemical pathways in your body. So what is the issue with this? Well, we've noticed a lot of people have mutations at, with that gene, and what that means is that the enzyme doesn't work as fast. So think of it as a highway. If you normally would have four lanes to get rid of traffic, and now that enzyme is slower, so it's like having two lanes, there could be a backup. Methylation with the MTHFR gene is involved in getting folic acid out of, out of your diet and into your body and into your cell and converting it to another form so it can be involved in homocysteine, which is involved in um, biochemical pathways with getting rid of sulfites and producing molecules that help your body detoxify. That it is also involved peripherally with making your neurotransmitters, things that make you feel energy or anxious or motivated. So if you have a problem with MTHFR, it could be causing anxiety. So who do I think needs to be tested for MTHFR? In my practice, I usually suspect a problem. If you've had a miscarriage, if you had a baby with a spinal cord defect, if you personally have migraine headaches, or you have a history of not tolerating birth control pills, or not feeling well on birth control pills, or not tolerating estrogen. Um, I also think about it in breast cancer patients, really any cancer patients, and um, uterine cancer patients. And especially women who have um, issues of high estrogen states like endometriosis or uterine fibroids. The testing is a genetic test. It can either be done by a mouth swab or a blood test. Sometimes it's covered by your insurance and sometimes it's not. But MTHFR is only part of the story. It really unlocks a whole nother process of those biochemical pathways that involve methylation. So if you think you have some of these, in, these conditions, you may want to consider being evaluated.